Good morning, uh, it's Ophelia. I wanted to post a video, it's been a while again, uh, and explain my life has been uh, ridiculously crazy recently. Um, for those of you that don't know, I run a multimedia company called Nightlife Network Northwest with my husband and a wonderful crew of people. Um, we have a lot of fun. We work with the entertainment industry here in the Northwest and um, I live in Washington State and we work with artists and entertainers, comedians of all kinds. Um, we also do, uh, gosh, business marketing, branding. Um, we go to a lot of local live shows, um, Seattle, gosh, all the way down. Um, we're going to Vegas this year. So I lead a very, very busy life. Um, I'm loving every second of it. But my primary goal in this life is, of course, to uh, spread light and spread love um, and try and assist people along the way with some of the lessons that I've learned. And I'm able to uh, touch a lot of people in what I do. And I'm very thankful that I'm able to do that. I'm not... Even though I'm in this industry, I'm really not very comfortable being on camera yet. Something I'm learning to do um, makes me a little nervous. So if I seem apprehensive or disconnected when I'm talking to you, that's why. Um, I'll figure it out, but to me it's more important to connect with you guys um, than it is to hide behind you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, typing, texting, whatever. You can find my company and what we do on Facebook. Um, you can find, kind of take, you can take a peek into my personal life if you'd like. We're all over the place, Nightlife Network Northwest. I also manage um, my husband's band. This is uh, not something that I was um, accustomed to doing and I had no idea how much work was going to go into this until I started. I'm loving every moment, um, but it is a lot of hard work. So it does take me away from being able to post a lot of videos on YouTube um, pertaining to my goals in life, pertaining to my path. But with that introduction, I wanted to uh, discuss a few things with you today. Um, Crystal Ann Compton uh, has been such a help in my life. She's been such a, a light on my journey for, gosh, it's been, I've been watching her for three years now. And it seems that she'll pop in on, on YouTube with a video that seems to address an issue that I'm having at the time or a challenge just at the right time. The woman is fantastic. If you haven't listened to her yet or you're unfamiliar with her, check her out on YouTube. Crystal Ann Compton, C-O-M-P-T-O-N. She's fantastic. Uh, she also has a Facebook group called The Lightworkers Lab. You can uh, check in there, join the group, and they really address a lot of issues that as lightworkers were um, experiencing at this time. At this moment in my life, I'm on here because um, she jumped on this morning and was talking about energy and um, the care for your physical body. And of course, like always, she chimed right in when I needed to hear it. And thank you, Crystal, I appreciate it. Um, last night we were out late, and as you could tell, this is last night's makeup. I didn't even take my makeup off before I got home. Um, we had gone to, uh, we host a Songsmith series every week, every night of the week actually, uh, local area venues for artists and we have a new artist each week. And last night we were out until, gosh, it was 11 o'clock. And then when we came home, it was video editing time. So I was up super late uh, doing that with my husband. But anyways, it's, that's neither here nor there. The point is remembering to take care of your body as light workers, I guess, if that's the term that uh, you'd like to use, that you're comfortable with, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that term. It seems odd to me. But just as uh, individuals in this time that are working on basically raising all ships to the best of our ability, 
gathering the folks that are around us and maybe shedding some light on the darkness that is their life, uh, whether it's their life that's dark or just their day, um, a smile, a hug, um, remembering, reminding them uh, who they are to the best that we can and um, reminding them that though things may be challenging right now, um, it's not going to be challenging forever. The only thing constant and guaranteed in this life is change. Uh, so as we move forward, everything changes. Everything does. And with a positive attitude, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how bad it may feel in the moment, first of all, it's going to change. And second of all, your perspective on this bad experience, bad, um, is from the lessons that you may have learned when you were younger. And what we perceive as negative isn't negative. It's a lesson. Uh, it's a challenge that we're facing right now. And when you overcome that challenge, when you move through it, you're able to, you've grown, you've learned a few things, and uh, it makes you stronger. So right now, what I'm experiencing is an outpouring of new experiences of success business success is just it's crazy i'm loving it um we've brought several new people on board uh, it was just my husband and i for gosh 13 years and here we are now we have um, gosh eight people that have come on board to assist us in this process um we actually went out and looked at an office space outside of our home yesterday, so that was very exciting. Things are moving forward and they're moving forward quickly. But I found that I have a challenge. Um, the newest challenge I'm facing is remembering to sleep, remembering to eat, uh, remembering to love my body. Uh, without it, without this vehicle that I'm running around in, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of these things. And as a child and a teenager growing up, I had issues loving my body like we all do, um, very critical, until I figured out that I'm not my body. All I'm doing is driving around in this car. This car that was gifted to me when I was born, um, and I'm very, so very thankful that it's a healthy body. Uh, gosh. Um, I've been through so much physically in my life. Um, and we're not going to go into that here uh, right now, but my body has faced many challenges in life and, and at times things that I should not have made it through, but I did. It continued fighting. And I'm so very thankful for it. Even in my thankfulness, I forget that it needs fuel. I forget that it needs to lie down and rest. Though my spirit wants to keep going and going and going and never sleep, the car I'm driving needs a rest. So I'm reaching out to you today to remind you to think of your body. Think of the car that you're driving around in and love it because without it, you're not going anywhere. Not, uh, not here, not in the physical plane. You're not going to be able to fulfill the blueprint or the plan that you made before you came here. Um, and you have goals, you got goals. Whether you're aware of it or not, they're there. And you've gotta be able to meet those goals while you're here. So eat something healthy, eat a salad, have some fruit. Um, remember to eat in the morning when you wake up. Try not to have that second or third cup of coffee if you can. Try to keep it to one. Um, drink a lot of water, water is so, important and we forget how important water is. I, I addressed hydration in another one of my videos and the importance of running energy. Um, so I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and let you know that um, I haven't forgotten you and I appreciate all of you guys uh, watching the videos and, and the comments and the, the emails that I get. Thank you so much. Um, and remember to love the vehicle that you're driving around because without it, you can't fulfill your goals. Thanks again. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.